questions five um, wants us to find this value of the minimum point here. So in order to do that, that's a station point. So we're going to differentiate and set the gradient function to be zero. So let's differentiate it first. If we differentiate e to the 3x, the 3 comes down to the front. So we've got 3e e to the 3x. Differentiate 6e to the 2x, that's going to be 12e to the 2x, plus 32 disappears. So at the stationary point, dy by dx is equal to 0. So we can set this equal to 0. Okay, <clears throat> we can divide by 3. And let's move this 4e to the 2x to the right hand side. So, if I now divide by um, e to the 3x, I'm going to have 1 equals 4 e to the 2x over e to the 3x. And the reason I've done that is because we're now going to be able to simplify the e to the 2x over e to the 3x. They have the same base, so using index laws, we're just going to subtract the powers. So that's going to give me e to the minus x. So don't like negative powers, let's put that back over to the other side, which will give us that e to the x is equal to 4. If e to the x equals 4, then x is equal to the natural log of 4. That comes from the relationship that if we have y equals um, the natural log of x, then x is equal to e to the y. They're um, inverses of each other. That's something you should definitely, definitely learn um, ready to go into your exam. So you don't have to worry about doing like taking logs of both sides and stuff. We could take logs of both sides so you can see why it works. If I natural log, if I went from here, if I natural log both sides, We could then use the power rule um, to bring the x to the front. Um, and the natural log of e is 1 because in natural log e is the base. So then we've got the x is equal to the natural log of 4. Just saves, saves time and hassle. And it also allows you to go back the other way. If you know this relationship, you can go back the other way, which is less obvious. Um, than going the way I've shown you here. Anyway, so either way, x is the natural log of 4, and it also says to verify that at that minimum point, the, x, the y coordinate is 0. So what we now need to do is substitute the x value into this equation here and show that we get 0 out. So we have that y is equal to e to the 3x minus 6e to the 2x plus 32, I think. Yep. So at um, x equals the natural log of 4, y is going to be equal to e to the power of 3 natural log of 4 minus 6e to the 2 natural log 4 plus 32. Um, that's the same as e to the natural log of 4 cubed, which is 64, minus 6e to the natural log of 4 squared, so 16 plus 32. And e to the natural log of 64 is 64, 
e to the natural log of 16 is 16, so we've got minus 6 times 16 plus 32. And that is 64. 6 sixteens are 96. And that gives us zero.